Right, so I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about the painting business. And uh, I know I'm going to get a ton of guys that are going to completely disagree with me on this. And that's fine. Not everybody's going to agree because not everybody's going to be the best. Usually there's only, you know, 2% of the people out there that are going to be the best at what they do. So that's okay. This video is not for all of you. This is just for the guys who want to learn something about making money and that's what I'm talking about here is making money so my question to you is and I want you to think this over who makes more profit a guy who's doing custom high-end work where everything's got to be perfect or a guy who's doing regular ma and pa type houses big run I'm not gonna leave that in it um, then we're going to talk about why, because you guys are all going to say, oh my God, are you kidding me? The guy who's the custom painter, he makes way more, makes way more money. The high end customs is where the money is. Okay. It's where the money is, but I said profit, profit. Okay. I didn't say money. I said profit. So my question to you is. Who is going to make the most profit per job and I'm going to tell you that the guy who's doing regular houses is going to make more profit per job and I'm going to tell you why so I'm kind of working right now I'm thinking I'm working at the same time but uh, the reason you're going to make more money profit wise doing smaller houses because you're not doing everything two or three times because the customer is an asshole and he wants you to do it to, you know, wants another coat. He wants this and wants that. So what, how you figure this out is let's say you've got a job and you go, man, I get 18,000 for a complete exterior on these houses, these big custom homes, custom homes. And I only get two, 3,000 for a regular mom and pie house. Okay. So you add, I want you to figure this. How many houses can you do in the same amount of time? How much money are you making per man hour? That's what matters, okay? If you're making more money per man hour doing the custom work, then obviously that obviously pays more, but it usually works the other way. Usually when you are doing uh, custom work, usually because of the time that you're spending on those jobs, even though there's more money in them, you got more money for doing the job. Um, you you end up making less profit per man hour. So why the hell are you guys doing that stuff? Well, it's the only kind of work I know how to do. You got to learn how to do whatever. You got to learn how to because there's, there's times when those good jobs, when those high end customers are profitable. I have a few of them that I do every year i mean i have customers that i repaint and touch up every year they just want their house to look like brand new all the time and they're very picky but i give them a bill they don't even ask me for a bid um they just they just know that when i'm done it's perfect and that's what they're willing to pay for and now if you got those kind of customers and they're high end those are good but most of the time your customers in the high end area are just jerks and they don't really care whether you make money or lose money they don't give a rip they just want you know they just want their house painted they, most of them are cheap asses okay so a lot of times if you're focused on that kind of work you need to refocus and, and learn how to do the production stuff too because it actually can pay more and uh, so if you just keep that in mind Look at profit per man hour all the time. That's your main goal as a as a painter. And not not um not just the the amount of the, the ticket on the job. That means nothing. I have hundred thousand dollar jobs that I turned down. I turned down I turned down a shopping center, I looked at it and was like, nah. The guy's like, Well, you don't want to do it? Nah, I'm busy. He's like, why? I'm already thinking of my I already know why. Worst of all, 
you're an asshole, number one. So I know I'm going to end up doing a bunch of shit twice. Second of all, it's not going to, I'm not going to make the profit I make per man hour doing the other stuff that I do. So why would I do that? You know, why would I put myself through that? And what I'm asking you guys is why would you do it? If you're, if you want to be the best at this business, you want to make the most amount of money, then, you know, you, you figure out who the most profitable customers are and you focus on them, not on, you know, not on, uh, I don't have a cameraman, guys. I'm doing this 100% by myself. So if I mess up, it's because I'm trying to do this whole thing right now. But uh, I want you to think about that for a second and then figure out who's the most profit per man day. It's always been for me is the ones, the regular mom and pa. And it, it, if you look at most businesses, most businesses, I was a business major in college. I'm no dumbass, okay? I didn't just start out as a painter and decide that I was, this is the only thing I knew how to do, okay? I do it because it's very profitable, okay? So a lot of you guys are doing this because it's the only thing you know, and that's okay, you know? That's all right. So maybe you're only going to, maybe you only know how to do this. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to make the most amount of money in this business, you need to watch profit per man hour and keep your eye on that. Forget the price. Who cares what it is? It could be a hundred grand. I turned down a hundred thousand dollar job. Oh, wow. You turned it down. I turned down a couple of them recently because I looked at them and I went, eh. Profit per man hour. I uh, don't think I'm going to make as much money on this. And I couldn't charge any more because uh, they were already saying, oh, I think this is a little high. I'm like, oh, well, I guess you don't want to do it. Don't, you won't want me to do it. So anyway, talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.